So today we're going to be installing the UC CNC software. So the first thing you want to do, go ahead and go, this is straight from the CNC drive.com. You want to download the UCNC software. Um, I will let you know on their website, the company is based out of Hungary. So if you click the download software here, it will download insanely slow. Unless, of course, you are closer to Hungary. If you scroll down a little bit, the Google Drive mirror, the Google Drive, this will download tremendously faster. So click up here at the arrow and download. <coughs> I already have it downloaded to save a little bit of time. Um, this .NET, you should not worry about it unless if you're using an old version of Windows, um, but we are going to install the newest. And right now I am on Windows 11, however, Windows 10 is almost identical. There, there might be a word change here or there. Um, so go ahead and run through the setup, not too hard, next. Except, next. Next, I like millimeters. Next, next, install. Okay, now uh, you will install this. This is not the computer I'm using the CNC on, so I'm going to be uh, running in demo mode so I'm not installing the drivers. Now, this is very important. So this is the controller we are looking at. If we scroll down, right here, I will make that big. Okay, so if you are using from computer to router and then router to CNC, you will be able to use a straight through wire. However, if you're using straight from your computer ethernet port cad6 into the board you're gonna need this crossover cable so if you look one one to three two to six three to one um six to two um if you look on amazon really quick that's the first thing that popped up if you can buy the cable i've already set up six six foot for three bucks not a not too bad. I have one of these. They're just little adapters that plug in. Um, I got two for eight bucks, I think. So, like I said, the CNC is not on this computer, so it's not going to show up on my network settings. But you're going to go to start or your search bar, type in control. Panel. And like I said, when Windows 10 and Windows 11, almost identical in this. Um, I think this is stated differently. However, if you open up Control Panel, and it looks like this or anything, hit these arrows and sort it by category. If you want it to look like this, but we are going to view network status. Uh, the manual tells you to do it kind of a weird way. If you hit change adapter settings, it will pull up. If your board, your AXPBE has the uh, voltages, the 24 volt and the 5 volt, and it's plugged in, you should get an unknown network. So what they recommend doing, clicking on it, we name it, they name it a XBB network. So once you rename it, you do a change to the settings of this connection. And then right down here, you're going to look for Internet Protocol 4. And so it'll pop up this. And you're going to use the following IP address. And if you look in the manual, 
Oh, 10, 10, 10, 10. 255, 255, 255, zero is what they want you to set up. Make sure you check this and hit OK on it. Now, it's not plugged into my computer, so it won't do anything for me. Okay. And once you do that, if we scroll down this, this is just to double check that you have your uh, connection. So if you go into your search bar, type CMD, your command pop will show up. Again, Windows 11 will look a little different. It runs exactly the same. So we're going to do IP config. And, oh. So IP config and hit enter. I'm on Wi-Fi. So mine's going to be a little bit different. So you type in IP config. It'll pop up with this. You just want to make sure your Ethernet adapter has the 10, 10, 10. And 255, 255, 255, zero. <clears throat> this is how to set it up via a router. I would recommend against that. Every time you introduce something wireless like a router, you're introducing a little bit of lag. And a CNC can be very dangerous, um, where a second can make all the difference. So, this. You see utility, the way we're going to find it, we're going to go to the C drive, you see CNC, I just searched for it, so it's you see XXX utility, go ahead and open that, so it's not installed or not plugged in. So normally up here, device what's not found, you'll see your device. Go ahead and click on it. And then I'm going to show you the directions via the manual this time. So you open up the UC XXX utility. Um, normally you will see your device, um, the IP address, subnet mask, and gateway will be defaulted to your computer. So, the only thing you want to change is if this DHCP is selected or not. So, if you're directed via direct cable, which is what we use, DHCP should be left unchecked. Okay, so go ahead and un uncheck that. And then hit Save Network Settings. And Task Connection. If you are using a router setup, which again, I recommend not doing, uh, go ahead and leave that checked. When you hit Task Connection, pretty much you should see Command Prop open. And it will look something like this. That on that download, where I said the .NET framework, it also downloads. That is only for Windows 7 and Windows XP. So, but Windows 8, 8.1, 10, and 11, .NET 4 is already a part of your operating system. So you're going to ignore that file. go down here and we're going to talk about the license thing so the license is only valid for one board um so you can install ucnc on multiple devices however when you click and drag your license file into it it will only work for the one board so ucnc will email you a copy of the license that is tied and we're gonna go into operating system UC CNC so my 
license is right there, so just right click, cut, copy, and we're gonna go into the C drive, the UNC, UC, CNC, and just drop it right there, right in that folder. So right click and paste. We'll go ahead and open it the first time. Now, if you have your license, you will not be introduced with this page. This is just selecting a demo. Um, if you have your license and everything set up, that should automatically go through if you only have one license on your key. UC CNC is a program that can run nils, uh, plasma cutters, lasers, pretty much anything. So, I am going to go to Profile, Plasma, create a short top, and load that profile. So, if you're looking back on the homepage, uh, you see CNC Plasma. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.